All right, guys, what's up? I am. Um, I'm gonna do a quick update here because I'm about to start taking in some new kits, and I just want to show where I'm at before I start something else and get distracted. Um, I. Well, I'll start here. I suppose this is the the hammerhead. It's not the long strike one. It's just a, a different one I have. I'm after finishing spraying him up. Uh, the base color silver. Oh, silver. Base color purple. Uh, this one here. It's Vallejo game or model color purple. So I'm after spraying him. Managed to miss a drone, which is after annoying me. Um, there is twenty pathfinders, cadre fire blade. Alan Vow is already sprayed, so he's to be done. Um, I actually intended on spraying the Cold Star disc color, just so he'd stand out a bit more, but um, being a bit of a fool, I didn't do that. So I'm just going to roll with it. I might use that as his color, because I used that on a long strike as well, I think. I have a devilfish here, and the little dude mount is here, so I'll just pop him in. Um, I'm Okay, when, when it works I can pop that in. Uh, I might magnetise a piece so that I can put an ion cannon on this to have a fort hammerhead. And uh, I took his drones out. Base coat with the Tidewall gun rig. Um, I have a shield drone, one, two, three, four marker or four gun drones. The marker drone is unpainted. I have I think they're the Grav inhibitor drones, and maybe that one there is the pulse accelerator. And um, there's one that I don't know now because that's three different types of drones. What is that off? Not sure what this is. Not gonna lie, I'll figure it out and come back. Um, because he's different to these two and that one and then I have two of the Guardian drones um, this is all this stuff here is going to be black I'm going to do a bit of an airbrush effect on here because I think if, like I've watched about seven or eight different videos on the t the new Tau deck so apparently you get a five up involved and six of it or something if you're infantry so I'm just going to airbrush that up like there's a shield kind of emitting from it so that's what I've to work on and I, I've been using the airbrush a lot today so it's kind of burning out so um, I just threw the colour on this went and had a shower and came back and some of it's still wet so there's nothing I can do here yet a long strike well long strike's hammerhead is done he's rocking his rail cannon which I regret gluing on he's got his burst cannons um, black battle damage Engine glow, uh, like electric blue highlights. So he, it's hard to move him, but it, that thing's not stuck on. But um, that's him done as well. So I have him done. I have a devilfish. I have the El Riptide, the ghost kill. Today, between last night and today, I finished 23 drones. So sniper drones, marker drones, shield drones, whatever that green one is, with two of them, because I presume it's in the Pathfinder team. Uh, Ghost Keel is there. I have a Commander, three Crisis suits. I finished on their rail side, so now I have three of them painted. And then I finished my 15 Vespid as well. So, I it's my birthday today. So, I the fiance asked what I wanted for my birthday, and I said if you're buying me anything, a Riptide would be great. So she went and got me a Riptide. So I'm gonna magnetize this one because I didn't magnetize the last one. So you can have the ion accelerator or the heavy burst cannon. So that's him. The last one I got was in the box, uh, the older style box with this, the Tau Ochre. Um, colours was on it, so it's it's kind of weird to see like the box isn't wrapped in plastic or anything. Um, hold on, now we get this open. So it's rattling around inside. All right, I didn't think she actually had a tray in her, but she does. 
So I'm going to pose this in a little different because when I was looking at this earlier I realised that I built my Riptide the exact same as the box art and I was kind of like, uh, it's mediocre so standard Riptide sprues of two fusion blasters, two plasma rifles. Um, I might magnetise them this time, I've got smart missile systems as well here because I honestly do not know what way point costs are going to be because today is the 13th of March and the codex is now for another four days and it'll probably be the week after before I get it so I'm not going to know but I can have this guy built up and more or less primed ready to go so that's one kit I got um, she like she's asked me what I wanted so I gave her a list of things I wanted it was like a the new broadside kit, uh, second piranha, just for the crack, suicide piranha, like this one has the, I think it's the viola stepped on it, same as the riptide, this one's wrapped in plastic, Kelshin and falchia, fusion blaster, yeah I already, the last one I built has the fusion blaster variant, so I'm just going to give this one a burst cannon because I don't really put, uh, I don't want to be putting burst or fusion blasters all over my army because it'll start getting expensive. So I watched, uh, I've watched Strike and Scorpion review. I've watched Winter's review, and I watched Invasive Wargaming's talking about the support systems and signature systems, and they all said the same thing. If you can take secret missiles, do. And I have, uh, I think that Devilfish back there has a secret missile model on it, just beside the Boris cannon, yeah, but uh, if you get two marker lights on a target, the secret missiles hit at the firer's ballistic skill, and now they have a profile, they're like strength 8 I think, uh, minus 3 or 4 AP, 2 damage or something, and sky rays which were absolutely chronic in the last edition, um, because marker lights are Secret missiles would only hit on a six unless you got a ton of marker lights in them. And at that you're only getting six on a Skyray missile defense ship. I can only tell you what that is because it's right here on the hammerhead I got. So I now have three hammerheads with um the possibility of a fort if I magnetize this one. When the lads like Winters and Striking Scorpion are talking about it. The rail rifle doesn't seem to be as good as it used to be, or the rail gun, rail cannon, whatever it's called, this thing, this big guy, because the ion accelerator works out better. So I'm probably gonna, I have the ion accelerators in me bits box, but uh, I I might see if I can build this one and magnetize it up to be the Skyray missile ship because he ha he comes with two marker lights. So if both of them hit, then the you have six of the secret missiles doing like two damage a pop and they're seriously powerful so I'm gonna build that up there's the ion cannon there so if I build them up I was, I was looking at it um, I don't know what way I'm gonna build the drones on it because you can go burst cannons or smart missile systems and when I was thinking about it like it's more or less the same you know, you're getting four shots per bur for per burst cannon, uh, strength five, unless they change the no AP, one damage. But the uh, smart missile system ignores cover, so it might be better off taking them. But I'll see you again if I can magnetize it, if it's possible. But uh, the plan for this guy is to build him, May like, I don't know what way it'll work. Uh, I was trying to figure it out by looking at it. But I imagine there's, um, do you know what, hold on, let me open this up and uh, I'll come back. Okay guys, I'm after opening up the kit, um, this, uh, it's a bit of a mess. Right, so you have your standard, you have the two side draw, uh, side doors, back door, that's the bottom of the kit, the top, like the carapace, which is fine. This is the Skyray, um, I suppose the Skyray sprue. This is different to the Hammerhead one. So it does look like it will be interchangeable, which is going to help a lot because that way I can just magnetise the... I'll show you this first, right? That's the Skyray one. And then I get all this stuff out of the way. 
that's the hammerhead one. So I can magnetize this now so I can have either the heavy rail rifle or the ion cannons and that way I'll, I'll be able to chuck that on the devil fish if I want. So if I bring whatever the, I think it's a vanguard detachment or spear, it could be a spearhead detachment, whichever one is the heavy support detachment, I can take three hammerheads in that detachment and take long strike as the HQ choice. So that would be long strike, he's built with his rail cannon, I'm just going to leave it on him for the time being. Um, if I get adventurous enough, I might, I'll, I'll see how the first couple of games go eye on cannons. I might take it off, like break it down and magnetize it. So he gives plus one to hit rolls, I think it is, to hammer heads within six inches of him. So all of a sudden, um, your sky ray hits on a tree, it's down to hitting on twos and the strength of them things you're going to be wounded on twos on most smaller vehicles you know what I mean like it's going to be it's just going to be a block sitting there um, if you brought material you could do the invo invocation of the elements that gives them a reroll one but you don't really need that because you have the marker lights on the sky ray so uh, to really benefit from this you're going to want to put a secret missile in at least each hammerhead and then obviously the sky ray one because long strike, if you get the two of them, he hits on twos. I think it's his ballistics, so he hit on ones. Reroll on ones if I miss. Something weird like that. I'm going to have to check that when I get the codex. But that way, all your secret misses are going to hit. Because you're taking two marker lights with the sky ray anyway. You take a unit of pathfinders. I have 27 pathfinders, so I'm sure I can take enough of them. Uh, you just throw a couple of marker lights on. Even if only one marker light hits with the sky ray, do the... Um, the stratagem, the uplink marker light, and that goes up to two, or well, it's one plus D3, so you're, you're gonna get two regardless. That means all your missiles are hitting, and long strikes, long strikes new thing is he gets uh, like if there's a marker light on a unit, he gets plus one marker light to that because it's his suit, basically. So, long if you get one marker light on long strike, secret missiles are gonna hit. So I'm going to have to go and paint up secret missiles and load long strike up with them, now that I think of it. But I'm going to stop rambling, I'm going to leave it here for the time being, and I'll come back when I've more done. Okay, hi guys, welcome to more of an update as to what's going on. I, I finished airbrushing yesterday, I can't remember where I left off. I airbrushed everything purple and let it all dry. So I started putting down some black base coats for... Um, all the bits and bobs on them. So there's another hammerhead. All the black is done on him. Well, bar, bar these things, and um, that'll have to be fixed. Or I could just leave it like that. Uh, this devil fish has had the black bits done. A couple of drones, the guardian drones. Um, I built the piranha and the drones, and then I built the sky ray. Uh, in the end, I just gave it the smart missile systems because why not and that can come off so you have the turret there and that's the turret mount for the ion cannon or the rail cannon I was just not bothered to magnetize it I'm absolutely wrecked after the last like I was in I was in work at 6 o'clock on Monday Yesterday's my birthday and I spent the whole day just painting tow and airbrushing and finishing a few bits off and playing the Xbox, just taking it handy. And then today I got up, uh, spent like three hours cleaning the house and that killed me. I'm just wrecked after. So I said, fuck it, I just... Yeah, I just said I'd sit down and start getting the black done on the... on like the, the bits, for the stuff I don't even know what to call it. Not the armour, anything else is not armour or cloth basically. And there's 20 pathfinders there and I was using a big brush and um, I'm watching way of the brush. But uh, Chris said mandible or something and pointed at his mountain when I looked. And uh, I tipped the last pot of black paint I have and absolutely covered myself in black paint. And these are only new trackies as well so I'm just kind of annoyed now and I was like you know what, not even bothered anymore. Like I, I like I was finding it really hard, like I was struggling. Oh excuse me. I was struggling because of how tired I am to keep painting. 
And I was like, no, I'll push on, I'll push on, and then bang, paint everywhere. I was like, ah, oh. yeah, you can imagine what I said. But um, that's where I'm at at the minute. I haven't touched a Riptide. He's sitting in the box there. That's um, not. I don't know. I might keep painting on. I mightn't even bother after that because I'm fairly salty. As I'm sure anyone else would understand. Like, literally only new trackies. I tried washing it. Like, soaking it. That just made it worse. And that was the whole way down. It looks like I've wet myself. And it's still coming off as wet paint and the sink and all is destroyed. Yeah, I forgot to pause that video. Um, so yeah, that's, this is where I'm at. Piranha went together easy enough. Um, I... <laughs> I built the Skyray, the body, like the chassis for it. It has the smart missile system, drones are true and other secret missile on it. So if I'm using it as a hammerhead as opposed to Skyray, I can still have an extra seeker there. And I think I'm just going to stop now because I'm absolutely wrecked. So hopefully um, by tomorrow I'll have a bit more done and I'll get this out for Thursday, for Tau Thursdays. And uh, we'll see you then guys. So yeah, cheers. Stay tuned. Hi guys. Back for another bit of an update. Not a whole pile done since yesterday. Um, born out could well be setting in at this stage. I finished painting up a unit of Pathfinders, um, I'm not going to bother doing the OSL because I have two units to do so I'll just do it all at once to just make more sense. So when I painted them um, I did use orange from the other Pathfinder so I put orange in a different place on these ones and then battle damaged them. So that's um, that's a squad done. I'm going to airbrush red onto the top part and like blue for the blaster so it's like marker light lighting up what he's been firing his gun. I've got a chassis scoping out the place. Um, then I have another unit. I'm only, I'm only finished work and I came home and I got the brown and the lighter purple down and I'm going to paint the orange on the bigger bit of the helmet just to differentiate the squads. Um, I did work on a couple of drones yesterday. I can't remember if I um, showed that but uh, I painted the fins, um, they've got the purple, light, lighter purple ring and then the black is all done on them, but that drone there was a bit of a pain. So the, the ones with the orange aerials or antennas, they are the Pathfind excuse me, Pathfinder drones, so it's just so I know, or if I have a ton of drones in one area and I look at the board, from top down I can tell straight away and so can my opponent. Um, ran out of black paint more or less for for this guy so he's he's not going to get done um, I have so I have to finish the drones I have the pathfinders the pathfinders co-star hammerhead devilfish uh, anva cadre fireblade I have the drone port I have the gun rig I have the piranha I have the hammerhead and I have the riptide and that's going to be all my tau painted, I just have to base them, but I have to wait on paint for that. Um, so if I don't have it all done by the time I get the codex, it'll be done within the week. So once that's done, um, it's a big push for commissions, and then I'll be on to Blood Angels. So a lot of tau getting done. Uh, I'm going to chill out for the, a bit of the evening. So this is going to be the last bit of the update for the video. I'm going to have dinner, maybe play Xbox and see if I... I have any motivation to do that and after that hopefully I will and uh, I can get this Pathfinder squad finished as much as I can I was meant to get a package today with paint in it but it didn't arrive so I'll do up what I can I'll do the same on this guy and I will continue to put Alan Va and the Capture Fireblade off because I really don't want to paint them um, but that's it guys thanks for watching and uh, this has been Tau Thursday so Stay tuned next week because I'll definitely have the codex by then. Um, there will be updates and why I have three units of Vespid and why everyone keeps asking me, am I the only guy that has three units? Probably. But wait and see. And I'm going to stop rambling and cut it there. So cheers for watching. Like if you haven't, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button because bells are cool. Boom. Um, yeah, that's it. Stay tuned for the greater good.